Stormtrooper from 1998. A woman kills her abusive husband and the cyborg shows up. Theme song. If you want to watch Stormtrooper, check the links in the description below. This is another one of those four movie sci-fi pack movies that I've been watching. And if it wasn't on there, I would have turned this off because this movie's boring and it's bad. So we start off, a guy escapes and he's on a motorcycle. And then we end up cutting between him trying to escape from people chasing him. And a woman played by Carol Alt. The woman is in an, is in a, uh, her husband is abusing her both verbally and physically. Aren't you going to give me a kiss? Oh, that wasn't so hard now, was it? No. And we see three or four scenes of verbal, mostly, but also physical abuse. And we cut back and forth between that and the guy trying to escape. It is effective because I really hated the husband, dude. You know, I am starving. What'd you cook for dinner? Uh... What? I just didn't get to it yet. <sighs> Grace, what the fuck you mean you just haven't got around to it yet? And so when she finally has enough and kills him, it is a relief. The weird thing is, though, after this kind of realistic and sincere look at, you know, abuse, it kind of gets a little wacky and flippant. So first of all, she kills him and then she like, oh my God, wake up. I can't believe it was an accident. But then next time we see her, she's dragging the body to hide in the uh, shower and it takes forever. And eventually Carol Alt starts sort of making comments like, come on, help me out here. Oh, my oh. God. I guess not. Oh, my God. Come on, give me a little hand here. Ah. And then later on, she takes a shower, and the body's still in there, and she's making jokes about that. Now, don't look. So, the tonal shift is really weird. And as soon as she drags the dead body into the shower, the cyborg dude shows up. I say a cyborg, but he just looks like a normal guy for 99% of the time. The main flaw of the movie, though, is that we do see the woman kill the husband. So there's no suspense there. There's no payoff on any of that, really. It doesn't come back to really um, any consequences. So when the, the, the cyborg dude discovers it, it's no big deal. We already knew it. Would have been a lot more interesting if they kept that part a secret where the cyborg, we stay with the cyborg dude as he escapes and he shows up at the house and the woman's acting weird and we don't know why. Then we find out. Then there'll be some drama. But instead we get Alt's character and the guy, cyborg guy, you know, they're me like, who are you? Why are you in my house? And then they learn to trust each other. And then these black ops guys show up, including Corey Feldman in a small role. It's <laughs> kind of odd. I I know he's not like a big star or anything, but it's still odd that he gets like three lines. And eventually the guy turns, you know, we find out we find out that he is a cyborg, which would have been a more of a surprise if the blurb for the movie, the summary description didn't give that away. But like the dead husband, it doesn't matter. Then spoilers, because you shouldn't watch this, it's boring. By the end of the movie, the cyborg is dead. There is an entertaining scene where they're like starting to take the chips out of his skull or something, and it's really low budget. The woman then has sort of killed everybody. She takes on some of the clothes from the, the, the Black Ops people, including uh, the eye patch that Corey Feldman was wearing, and she gets on a motorcycle and leaves. They will come for you. Grace, fight them. You must fight them. Fight them. Fight them. Did they think they were going to make a sequel or something? I don't know. 
After I watched this, I found out that it was written and directed by the same people behind The Phantom Empire, which makes a lot of sense. But that film was at least entertaining because it was trashy. This film is just boring. It takes forever for anything to happen. And then nothing exciting does happen. Uh, you know, there is, is like one decent scene with some explosions. It, like I said, if this wasn't part of those four movie sci-fi packs I've been going through, I would have turned this off. So I'm going to give Stormtrooper five thumbs down. Carol Alt kills him and the bad guy shoot at them. But don't give this a shot. I'd love it if you gave me a shot and like 